And away we go. It is the nightcap brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken right here on BearcatJournal.com. As always, visit www.galacticfriedchicken.com. Download the app for Android, iPhone, everything Galactic. Get to the app. Have them del- Ooh, hiccup. Sorry. Have them deliver it right to your front door. Pretty much anywhere inside the 275 loop. Or get down to Dayton, Kentucky. Tell them to pump it up. And you will save 15% off of your order. Chicken tenders, chicken dunkers, fried chicken, french fries, coleslaw. That absolutely sweet and delicious galactic sauce. Fried pickles. You name it, they got it. So support our friends at Galactic Fried Chicken. And make your belly very, very happy. All right. We're going to make a thing right here. Aaron? Aaron? There's a lot going on in the conference realignment world these days. There is, you but have... first, but first, but okay. first, I do want to make sure that we get this read off. Obviously, you did the galactic read. Also, I took a bad beat tonight. I lost three bets by a grand total of one point, half Ooh. a point, half a point on one bet, half a point on another bet. I parlayed both bets on a separate bet and lost by a grand total between Markel Fultz and Brandon Ingram. I was a half point off on each. And lost three bets by a grand total of one single point. Um, but download Betfred on your phone. Use the promo code Bearcat for your Bearcat Journal promotions. It'll also help support the people here at Bearcat Journal. Please do. Like if you haven't, if you if you're gambling responsibly in the mm-hmm. state of Ohio, just give Betfred a try. All you have to do is download it, put our promo code in, make a bet, and you support us. You don't have to. You don't have to stay. You don't have to make every bet with bet bread, but give it a I try. Do. Yeah, I do. It's the one I use. All right, because I so, don't bet very much. You bet way more than me. That's fair. <laughs> but I bet, <laughs> I bet. I bet very little bets. <laughs> I know. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, I was looking at some of the headlines today, and. The ACC is is mad, and we have spent a lot of time of late talking about the Pac-12 and, of course, talking about the Big 12, the SEC, the Big 10. The ACC has been fairly quiet, but the ACC right now is mad. They're mad because they have fallen behind in their <clears throat> TV revenue deal significantly behind the Big 10 and the SEC as each school is making roughly about $30 million. They've now fallen behind the Big 12 for next season, and they're wondering – how they got here. They don't know. Something has to change is what the Florida State AD is out talking publicly about. Uh, just just mad that they signed a ridiculous TV contract. And they were the first to sign the big, the big deal, like the biggest deal. So they were in a weird spot. They were kind of last, but also first, right? Like, the, the big tw- the big 10 and the SEC had just gotten deals and the ACC was kind of up and it was in that world of like uh networks being established quick correction I did say 30 million they're they're gonna be behind the SEC and big 10 by about 30 million sorry about that. yes and they're gonna be behind the big 12 the way that everything looks like it's going, the ACC will be behind the Big 12 and be fourth uh, in the arms race as this goes forward. Right. So they're, they're, they are they're signed this deal, and it was for, what, 15 years? Yes, it gave them incredible stability. Incredible stability. So they're mad that they beat everybody at one point in time to get to the – top at some point and And then everyone else trickled down and eventually passed them up because everybody's always going for the next big deal so of course when you lock yourself into a 15-year deal you're going to get passed 15 years ago 15 years ago there were no iphones maybe there were i i i i just gotten married I did not have a kid. Bearcat Journal was roughly one year old and 
barely a blip on the radar for like, I don't know, 75 of the most diehard Bearcat basketball fans you will ever find. Because at that time, we didn't really cover football all that much. The original iPhone 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Had had Game of Thrones even come out 15 years ago? No, 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 no. Like, I know that's a weird, like, cross-reference to make. But, like, my point being, that was a series that started, took over the world, ended horribly, and has had a rebirth. Mm-hmm. Into this new thing that was like what we watched last year. Like, like there's so much. Why would you ever, ever sign a 15 year deal? And it was because, okay, uh, there's so much chaos happening. We're all going to sign a grant of rights. We're all going to we're going to start a 15 year deal. ESPN is going to start the ACC network, and the ACC network is going to blow up. Well, guess what? Nobody gives a shit about the ACC. Especially in football. It's Clemson, Florida State, and teams nobody cares about. 15 years ago. Well, 15 years ago. Was Clemson relevant 15 years ago? Was Dabo at Clemson 15 years ago? 15 years ago would have been 2008, so February of 2008. We did not have our first black president yet. <laughs> There's like, why would you ever sign a 15? Like, if I'm in that world, six, maybe, maybe, probably five. I want to be up to market every five years. Do you leave money on the table when you're going for five, six years? Sure. In the long, in the long term, no. But in the right. short term, in the yeah. short term, yes. Could you get a larger deal as the Big 12 if you had signed a 15-year deal? Initially, sure. Would you lock yourself into 15 years? No. Never. Why? Never. Why? I guess here's the thing that's perplexing to me, Aaron. Why didn't you negotiate like a like a, a trigger at the halfway point? Of like, if we get to the halfway point. And we want to like buy out of some sort or renegotiate. It's like, it's like the like the the quarterback contracts in the NFL now, right? Like Patrick Mahomes did a ten year deal. He's probably going to get that ten year deal redone here in the next year or so. We're like now he's going to like not only did he get three hundred million in the first five years of that ten year deal, but he's going to get another three hundred million the second five years of that 10-year deal, you backed yourself into a corner. You signed a grant of rights, which says not only do do you have to pay an exit fee if you want to leave, but you also have to forfeit all of your television revenue until 2036. Well, and the big, I guess why this is making news right now is because you have these schools that want out. They want out of the ACC because they're like, I, I want to go with the big, the big 10 and where the money is yeah. there. I, I want to go with the SEC and where the money is there. But in order to do so, they would lose any and all TV deal money until 2036 because of that grant of rights. Like right. they, they can't leave the ACC and go, they could, but they're not going to get any money to do so, which is bananas. But that's what happens when you sign this shitty deal for 15 years. Here's what's crazy to me. Like, the SEC doesn't have a grant of rights. Because the SEC is like, fuck Vanderbilt. We're not giving Vandy the power. Because in this contract that the ACC has, Florida State wants to leave, Clemson wants to leave, Virginia wants to leave, North Carolina wants to leave, Miami wants to leave. You know who gets all the power in the ACC right now? The president. Boston College, Wake Forest, <laughs> Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech. Yeah, yeah. The bottom of the conference has all the power because the top of the conference can't go anywhere, and the only way they could go anywhere 
is that the bottom of the conference agreed to like, okay, let's reopen our window. And you know what the bottom of the conference is saying? Hell no. We're not letting North Carolina and Virginia go to the Big Ten. Why would and you? Clemson and Florida State go to the, the SEC. And leaving us with like nothing. Nothing. Nothing that anybody – NC State is going to be your flagship? Maybe at that point you get Memphis. You get Memphis, yeah. <laughs> sure. Memphis would love to join. Maybe Rice, maybe Rice and Texas State and Tulane are hopping on board as well. Right. Like, I, I don't – how was the logic ever – we're going to lock ourselves into an ever-changing and evolving media landscape for 15 years. It's crazy. You said Absolutely. 2008? Okay. That was 15 years Talk ago. For, that, 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 that's, that's, that's not when they signed their actual deal. No, 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 no. Okay. Talk for a second. Um, I don't know. I guess the other the other thing is that is starting to get floated around, Ballyhood about, is – just that some teams in these new negotiations as TV deals are coming up and what have you, uh, they're wanting to either be allowed different preferential treatment in the deal, whether they can be let out earlier than other teams. For instance, if Oregon and Washington went to the Big 12, there's talks of maybe we don't have them sign a grant of rights to, in order to get them from the Pac-12 to the Big 12, which I sure. think – when you start showing preferential treatment for schools and universities to move into your conference, or even once they're in the conference, when these deals come up and you're giving maybe a different allocation of funds to different schools, I think that's when things become rocky for your conference. And I don't think that's good for the health and sustainability of the conference as a whole. Uh, this is what I was looking for, Aaron. Um, in 2008, the AFC package in the NFL went for $622 million. The NFC package for $712 million. Sunday night, $650 million. Monday night, uh, $1.1 billion. Uh, a grand total of $3 billion dollars. In 2008 was what the NFL was making. Yep. In 2022, 2023, 2.1 billion for CBS Paramount, 2.2 billion for Fox, 2 billion for NBC, 2.7 billion for ESPN, Prime Video and Twitch pop in for a billion, uh, $12 billion. There was a, there was an eight billion dollar increase in NFL revenue from twenty or two thousand eight to twenty twenty three in fifteen years, fifteen years, a four hundred percent increase, roughly how half stupid, a roughly half a billion dollars a year. How stupid do you have to be to agree? to not go to market for 15 years. As often as you can. Go to market as often as you can. In live sports, they're like it, it, it's been proven for two decades now. The live sports bubble just maybe at some point it pops, but I don't think it will because all we crave right now to my left as we do this, I have Baylor and Oklahoma State on the TV. As betting becomes more of a norm in society, people are going to want it real time, not streaming. Right. As close to real time as you can get. And through cable is how you do that. Not yeah. through streaming. No. So the money is still always going to be there for cable. Especially now that betting is becoming a norm 15 years ago the only place you could bet was vegas you idiots agreed to this now they're mad now they're mad because they still have 13 years because 
what happens every time happened. We agreed to this two years ago, and all of a sudden, two years later, the SEC went to market, the Big Ten went to market, the Big 12 went to market. Pac-12 is trying to. I mean, they're going to be fourth. The ACC is going to be fourth. You know what nobody You know what? Nobody ever aspires to be in life, Aaron? Fourth. For the next 13 years. You know what I'm thinking about? My long-term future. Chad, Chad, the Big 12 has a renegotiation before this ACC contract. Everybody is- does. <laughs> Everybody does. But, I mean, of course, this makes more sense to us. Here. Right. But <laughs> uh, Kelsey might sign my daughter. My the Kelsey brothers are going to sign a bigger deal than the ACC has in the next thirteen years. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> They're going to be worth more than the ACC. The Kelsey brothers. Well, between them and Pat McAfee, I think you combine their their deals and have more than the ACC. It's unbelievable. Like I, I just I I didn't understand it then. I don't understand it now. And to see them crying about it, like you hate, you hate to see it. You but did you that. love to see it. You That's agreed right. to that. Everybody was like, "Yeah, yeah, let's not go to market until twenty thirty six. Chad, fifteen years is long enough for a a child to go from birth to temps. Your daughter's going to be driving. On a, on a temporary driver's permit in 15 years. Yes. Absolutely bananas. I don't know what the hell they're doing. And to cry poor when, <laughs> when they did this two years ago. It's baffling, mind-boggling. Uh, your quick thoughts here as we're at 17 minutes. I don't – what is happening? Uh, are you putting a tinfoil hat on? I hope that you're putting a tinfoil hat on. Uh, but your quick thoughts, there it is. What's, what you got on the uh, – what's, what's – My daughter is going to – like, in 2036, Kelsey's going to be in her mid-20s. She's going to have graduated college. Probably not, but like there's potential for that to have happened. Like 27 is close to to late 20s. Right. I, you agreed to this? None of the presidents or athletic directors that agreed to that deal, they might not be alive, any of them. In 2036. Quick thoughts. A couple, I'm sure, but. Quick thoughts on unevenly distributing revenue or allowing buyouts. That always of... that always works. Everybody's always happy with somebody making more money than them <laughs> for doing the same thing. That always works. So yeah, go ahead, Pac-12. Like nobody, nobody, nobody will have a problem with that. You guys just give Oregon and Washington more money than every than Arizona and like people that think they're just as good as. Right. Or yeah. or if the, or if the Big Twelve was to offer anybody money to leave their the Pac twelve to come to the Big Twelve, do you think that sets a good precedent? If they gave them more money, if they helped them buy out of the Pac twelve, <clears throat> no, because th- that's not really how it's done. Like there are ways that it's done that like will help you out, but like no, it's it, there's a there's a there's been enough. Does this really change the lighting that much? Apparently. It, like I'm dark now, right? I don't did you turn off your ring? No. I don't know. But finish your thought and let's get out of here. Um, does it like there's a there's a a path to exiting conferences and entering new conferences that has been established. You, like I don't think you have to like go outside that path to get the Arizona schools or Colorado or, or whatever. Anybody. And if Oregon and Washington like want to play hardball. Wait for the big 10 then. Good luck. They're not 12. 
they're not that much of a like yes they are a brand but really really are are you really dying to watch this version of Oregon football no they haven't been relevant since Chip Kelly was there really they've been good like they've been okay not national like championship still, relevant right but they're they're still entertaining but nobody on Saturday at like 6 p.m., if they don't have money on it, man, I can't wait to watch that Oregon game. And you're never, man, I've man, never done, no one's ever done that in the history of man, Washington. Man, the ducks, the ducks are on at 10. Gotta, gotta stay up and must see TV. Yeah. The ducks, the ducks are playing Washington State at 10. Can't miss I think, that. I think more people are excited about the Hawaii game trying to. Hit on on their bad their yeah. bad beats for the day. Come on, all right. Well, that was great work, Aaron. That was a fun topic. I enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow night. It is the nightcap. Brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken, right here on Bearcat Journal. See it.